All right. Thanks a lot, John. And thanks everybody who's attending now. And we can just try that chat box one more time just to make sure everybody can see my screen. You can just type yes in there to make sure that's coming through nicely. Looks like everybody can see it. So I will actually get started into this. If for any reason it's not showing up for you, you can try logging out and log back in because everybody's saying yes, it looks like. So yes, I'm going to walk through the process of how to make money with a blog, grow a brand, get a lot of publicity and everything in between so we can get started with it right now. So what can you expect from this webinar? We're going to be covering the five strategies to make your first $500 with blogging. We're also going to look at how I made $860,000 in profit in just four months time. I'm also going to be showing you how top bloggers are making their millions of dollars online and how you can actually do the same thing. And at the end, we're going to be looking at my project for how I'm helping other people achieve these same results at a faster pace. So to get started, I want to tell you about my story and how I actually got started with making money online. It's going to be quick and I'm just basically showing you why I'm actually worth your time. So I'm Zach Johnson and there's my dog Foxy and we're just average people and we have a dog work out of my house. Pretty cool. I relate with everybody out there. So you should be able to do all this stuff the same exact way. And in this webinar, I'm going to show you how I went from this kid right here. I was about six or seven years old at the time with my first hundred dollar bill, got it for Christmas and I've always had the entrepreneurial spirit and luckily the internet came around and I was able to turn that passion into a business online and that one hundred dollar bill would then be three hundred thousand dollar checks that I would get in the mail. And what's even cooler is that I actually ran this whole business right out of a corner room in my parents house and this proves that you can literally run an internet business and blogging empire from anywhere. So now here's a quick summary of how I got to where I am today. Back in 1995, I knew there was a way to make money online. I had to figure it out. I was in high school at the time and I stumbled upon the world of affiliate marketing. And the concept of affiliate marketing is basically you referring someone to a website and when they sign up for something, you would get a commission from it. And we're going to talk about that more in detail later on. So here's one of my first checks from back in 1998. It was only for $10.45. And it's really cool that I scanned this check just to see how things have scaled over time. And even back then, it's all about measuring your success, no matter how small it is. Because you can see these little amounts back in 1997, it was $88 from referred hosting to $24, but this would continually graduate in size, just going month after month, and you learn more and you can get different sources of revenue coming in. So that's exactly what I was able to do. And I was able to generate over $300,000 in one month with one website and it went on to generate $800,000 in profit in less than four months. And we're going to be talking about this as well later on. So in 2007, I decided to launch my own blog at ZachJohnson.com. And I did this because I basically wanted to not be an affiliate marketer and really rely on other websites and blogs or whatever on my own success. So I wanted to build my own brand, have my own following and be able to create my own products and interact with people. So since starting that blog in 2007, I've helped my readers earn millions of dollars in the process. And one of the best methods for doing this was actually walking people through the process of how to start their first ad campaign. And this was done through an article I did which was called Never Blue, and it pretty much said that if you follow these steps, join the network, create ad campaigns, you can do the same success. And by referring them to this network, it resulted in over $3 million in referred campaign spending. And Leanne Lowe was one of the senior marketing managers there, and she just basically said, with over $2 million in referred earnings, Zach Johnson is the referral king. And this was basically just saying that I had everything in place and they valued the relationship there and it was a great way for me to give back to my audience and also generate business in the process. So blogging isn't just about making money, it's also about all the amazing opportunities as well. As you know, I'm good friends with John Chow. I've been able to travel throughout the country. I met Mark Cuban, Matt Cutts from Google, Hulk Hogan, celebrities, everything in between and that is all a result of the blog. But that's not all. I've also been able to speak at events like Blog World in Las Vegas. And there I am on the panel with superstar bloggers like John Chow, Darren Rouse of Pro Blogger, and Brian Clark of Copy Blogger. So putting yourself out there with a blog, it really makes a world of a difference because you're seen as an authority and an expert. And I've also been featured on Fox News and The O'Reilly Factor and ABC News all because of that blog and what I've put out there. 
I was even featured in a film documentary that premiered in Hollywood, California. Me and John Chow were both featured. It was called Living.com. Just another amazing opportunity as a result of the blog. So last year I was thinking, how can I take the blog to that next level? And I decided to launch a podcast of my own called Rise of the Entrepreneur. And it's really opened up a whole new world of opportunity. And it was even recently featured in Forbes magazine. And again, all of this is possible through the comfort of your own home. You don't need an office. You don't need employees. And that's the best part of this opportunity here. So I'm going to be walking through all the different parts of how you can actually set this up on your own end. And as I mentioned, through blogging and the power of the internet, you can see these same results. And of course, you're going to have a lot of questions because I'm going to be covering a ton of content. So either leave them in the chat box now and we'll address them later or save them, write down your notes, and then you can... Uh, Pretty much ask them at the end of the webinar when we're going to be covering all your questions. So again, for anybody who just showed up, this is what you can expect from this webinar. We're going to be looking at the five strategies to make your first $500 with blogging, how I made $860,000 profit in four months, top bloggers and how they're making millions of dollars online, and also my latest project for mentoring with entrepreneurs throughout the world. So it's easy to start a blog. This is dead simple. You grab a domain name, you install WordPress, and you're good to go. But guess what? It's not easy to make money with a blog. That is, unless you know what to look for. So there's 300 million blogs in the world today. And this is what it probably looks like times millions. So you might get lost in this mix. There's actually a little red dot in there. And if you can see it, that might represent where you are. You have all this competition out there, and you pretty much can't get ahead of them because it's so saturated. And if you're not currently ranking on the first page of Google, you might as well not rank at all. As you can see right here, when you go to Google, type in the word blogging, everything in those red boxes, those are paid advertisers. So if you're not paying money to rank in Google, you're pretty much not gonna be shown when someone searches for something that's relevant to your website. And as you can see, there's 119 million relevant sites for the word blogging. And I keep telling you all this because I've been through the process, because guess what? Out of all the 119 million sites out there, my site ranks number one. And I'm going to show you some of the methods I've used to get there. And it's also important to know about this when people go to Google and they search for something. If you're not ranking on the first page, you're not going to get any clicks at all. But if you're not ranking in the top few clicks, you're probably going to get minimal clicks. As you can see, the number one position gets the most clicks. Even the second position only gets around 13% and it goes on from there. So you need that main page rankings. So how can you compete against 300 million blogs and such advertiser competition? Well, if you follow this simple formula, it will definitely help. You need to know your niche. You have to know how to create content that converts. You want to build a mailing list to get people to keep coming back to your site. You also want to get quality backlinks and you need to know how to monetize your site as well. So let's first talk about finding your niche. So how do you find your sweet spot and what niche are you going to get into? Well, you want to choose something that you're great at, something that brings you joy, and something you can make money with in the process. And that's where the money is. It's called the sweet spot. But how do you also know if your niche is going to be profitable? Because you don't want to start writing a blog about something that either you have no interest in or you can't base a business around. So we're going to go into that now. So what does Google first tell us? Well, let's say we want to start a blog or a business around basketball. Well, if you go to Google, type in basketball, you can see there's no advertisers there. So that means it's probably going to be something that's hard to monetize and make money with. Because if you think of a site like ESPN, people go there because they want to see the scores, they want to know the highlights, and they want to hear the rumors. They don't want to go there and buy sports tickets. So let's niche this down again. Maybe basketball skills training is something we want to start off with. So look, we can start seeing advertisers there. So now it's looking really good, but still the competition, you can see there's 46 million sites out there that's related to basketball skills training. So let's try and niche this down one more time. Basketball jump training. There's lots of advertisers all over the place. That means there's a lot of money to be made and you have more, less competition. You can see it's now at 17 million results. So we started with something we're passionate about and then we niche down so we can actually become the authority in that space. So we started with basketball, went to basketball skills, and then we ended up with basketball jump training. We can also use other great tools out there like Google Keyword Planner, and that's going to give us different metrics to go off of. We can type in the word jump training. We can see the average monthly searches for relevant keywords. 
how much of a competition there is, whether it's high or low. And we can also see how much advertisers are paying to rank in the search results for those relevant terms. And of course, you want to go after long tail keywords, which is a multiple variation such as increased vertical jump workout, which is much easier to rank for than the word just simply jump training. So we can also use other resources like Amazon.com to tell us what people are searching for, what they're looking for, and how we can do it better. And the Kindle section or their books is a great way to actually look this up. So what we can do is go to Amazon, click on the Kindle store, type in any keyword or niche that we want to start a site around. We're going to do jump training and we can see there's a bunch of different books there. And based on their sales and actual feedback, we can learn more about this niche. So we can click on any of these books and we can see the Amazon sales rank. That's going to give us an idea if people are actually signing up to it or not. So what we can see is that this one actually has 106,000 ranking. And if it's below 150,000, that means that it's probably selling a few copies per day at the least. And then we can also look at the customer reviews because that's going to tell us a lot as well. So the customer reviews, you don't really want to just look at the good ones. You want to see the bad ones because that's going to tell you what you can do better. So you can see here one guy says he only gives minimal information, paid $4 and only got a pamphlet instead of a book. Decent information, just not much of it. And he gave it a one star. And then another guy, he had only two stars. He said he got it for his son. It was a quick read, but it needed pictures and workout tips. So if you were to create a website, a blog or even a book, you can actually put in the information that other people couldn't find in the competitor services out there and really provide something that's great for your audience and it will actually sell a lot better. We can also use the Clickbank marketplace to see what's out there, how we can make money with it and what the advertiser competition looks like. So once again we type in jump training we can see the first one there is jump higher training program it's gonna pay out a 50% commission if we click on that we can learn more about it. The vertical jump training vertical shock program Every time you sell it, you're going to get 75% commission for this one. The average sale is $50. And the great thing about this is it's a digital product. So if you have a website or a blog that talks about basketball or jump training, all you have to do is link to this website and you'll earn a commission every time someone buys it. You don't need to handle any processing or sales. You don't need to talk to the customer. It just works that simple. So we can now break down the process of how to find a successful niche. You want to pick a topic that you're passionate about or want to create a business around. Now don't just choose a, cho a topic if you're passionate about it and you can't create a business around it because the business model is what's so important. You want to niche down as much as possible. Even when you think you found a great niche, try and niche it down even more because you want your target audience to come to your site and take action and not get confused by a wide variation of content on your site. You can also check Google, Amazon and affiliate networks for different potential profitability opportunities. So now let's take a look at the different ways we can create content that actually converts. You want to create content that provides value to your audience. This includes writing interesting titles, putting keywords in there, but only so they're relevant. You don't want to stuff keywords in there anymore like you used to make 10, 15 years ago because that simply doesn't work. Now it's all about creating longer and more detailed posts that get ranked higher, they get more backlinks, and they get more social shares. And of course, you want to also add images, videos, the proper formatting and making it easy for your people to navigate through your site and read your content. So here's an example of one of my detailed 1800 word how to posts on ZachJohnson.com. And this is one that I mentioned earlier, giving people a tutorial of how to actually walk through a process step by step. And this is a good example because right there at the bottom, it says apply for Neverblue ads, which was the network I was promoting. And doing little things like that, I was able to generate $3 million in new business to Neverblue, which resulted in another $50,000 in commissions for me. So give people exactly what they want to do and then walk them through the process step by step. And you also want to be able to compare the different content that's out there right now. So if we go to Google, type in how to jump higher, we can see that the first four listings are all different types of content. The first one is a video. The next one is a step-by-step -step guide. The next one's a content post, and then the last one is a list post. So if we want to rank in the search results, it'd really be a great idea to look at each of these, create one ultimate post that combines all of these different methods, and then work our way up in the search results. And Google also tells us what people are searching for. 
So remember I was talking about long tail keywords and whatnot. If you type in jump higher in the, into Google, it's going to give you other keywords like how to jump higher to dunk, how to jump higher for basketball, or people are even looking up how to jump higher for volleyball. So the more niche specific you get, you're going to be able to, to cater your content right to your audience. And you can also use a cool tool called Google Trends, and that's going to tell you what people are searching for right now. So if you were to use the tool, look up basketball players, you're going to see that LeBron James gets a lot of attention. People search for Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, and this really applies for any niche out there. So when it goes to creating your content, don't go crazy. Just focus on what your audience is looking for. Create better and more detailed content than your competition and focus your articles and content on getting leads and sales. You don't want to just put something out there and say, okay, here's an article about crafting and then just let your audience leave the site. Instead, you got to put a call to action at the bottom that says, for my best three crafting tips, click here and then send them to your call to action. You also want to write detailed articles with one to 2000 words that include pictures and proper formatting. It's not about making short articles and coming out with a new one every day. Now it's about creating high quality content that you can actually have as a resource that people continually link to and find value in. So Brian Dean, during one of my interviews with him on the Rise of the Entrepreneur podcast, he went on to say, SEO isn't about content creation. It's also about content promotion. And that's what we're going to be talking about next. So how can you get high quality backlinks to your site? And also at the same time, becoming an expert because to rank higher in the search results, you need to get backlinks. So why do you need backlinks to your site in the first place? Well, Google ranks all the sites in the search results based on a wide range of factors, but one of the most important ones is the quality of links that are going back to your site. So you don't just want random links. You don't want to start going on to different sites and ordering a ton of garbage links coming back to your site because that's just going to hurt you. Instead, you want to get links from trusted and well-known sites, sites that have real content and that are also relevant to your specific niche. So if you have a jump training site, you're going to want to get sites that are focused on exercising or basketball to link back to your site. And guest blogging is actually one of the best ways to do this. And that works by you actually writing an article or you can pay someone to write an article for you. And then you doing outreach to other authority and relevant websites and they will post that article for you. And there's many benefits to guest blogging. The site owner gets free content for their sites. The authors get a bio section and a link back to their website. And then you also are able to become an expert in the process by reaching a whole new audience and having people read the article and seeing your bio and picture at the bottom. I'm going to show you some examples now of how this actually works. So searchenginejournal.com is one of the top thousand sites on the internet and I write for them every once in a while and I wrote an article about how to increase social shares to your website and this one here you can see there's my face and name at the top and it, got, it went on to be shared over 5,000 times. So this audience, this site has a massive audience and I'm getting a ton of free exposure because of it. And they get a free article from me because I'm contributing to their site. So it's a win-win situation. And at the bottom of that article, you would actually have see that it has a bio for myself and a link back to my website. And here's another example of what that would look like on another site that I wrote for, which was basicblogtips.com five brilliant ways, ways to get more blog social shares. And when you scroll down to the bottom of the article, you can see it says about Zach Johnson has my picture. And then it has a couple links in that description as well. And they go to my website, my Twitter account, and basically any other website that you want to talk about or be represented as you can place it in that area. And other websites that you can eventually write for, you want to start small. And then as you build up a portfolio and a trusted authority, you can start getting listed on sites like Yahoo. That's killer business for people to see that your name associated with their Yahoo. And you can even get listed in Time Magazine, which I was recently featured in a few weeks ago. So you can see Zach Johnson of blogging.org. So how do you find all these different opportunities to do guest blogging? Well, once again, Google is your best friend for setting this up. And it's great because you can just search in Google and it's going to give you all these different sites. So I'm going to show you an example of what I actually did today. But first we need to know how to actually look for this information. You want to come up with as many synonyms for your niche topic as possible. So once again, I'm talking about jump training and we're focusing on basketball training, how to jump higher. All these keywords will be relevant to the people that you want to come to your site. 
At the same time, you want to be able to come up with common guest blogging terms. And these are the words that people are actually searching for to learn more information about guest blogging or writing on another site. So this would be write for us, guest post, contribute, and guest blogger. So now when we combine all that together, we go to Google and type in basketball blog, write for us. And I just did this search today, so this is extremely accurate and you can even do this yourself. You can see that second listing there it says write for us, that's the title of it. And it's for the hoopdoctors.com. We click on that link, it brings us right over to their website and it has a whole article for how you can write for their website, the details of what type of writers they're looking for, the content they're looking for. And this is a page rank five site and they're basically just looking for writers. And I went back to Google, perform that search one more time you can see allsportstalk.net has something quite similar and uh, just click on that link and you can see on their website in the top right corner it says write for us and that's going to show you the same exact thing how you can contribute to these sites as an authoritative authoritative author and you want to always look in the footer area and the headers of any different websites you visit because you can see this one top tens is a big website and they list 10 different things in each article but you can see at the top of the page it says write for us and if you wanted to contribute an article to their site that's how you would do it but there's also a better way of doing this because you don't want to just randomly visit a ton of different sites you want to be able to have something in place where you can find a site and then do research so we can kind of reverse engineer this you can do this by going to Google typing in a keyword that you want to rank for and then looking at the different sites that rank. So we type in jump training, we can see this guy ranks at the bottom, DeFrancosTraining.com, top 15 exercises for jumping higher. So we grab that guy's link to his website. We can go to a tool like SEM Rush, type in DeFranco's training in the search box, click search. We can then click on the backlinks button on that left side. And it's actually gonna show us all the different sites that are linking back to his website. And if you look through these enough, you can actually see that when you click on some of them, it will bring you over to other websites where he actually did guest blogging. So now you can see on this Zach Evanish website, it says guest post by Joe DeFranco. And same thing on real world health and training. So there's probably links on these articles at the bottom section by his bio that go back to his website. And since all these authority health sites are linking to him, it's pushing his site up higher in the search results. So guest blogging, there's a lot of best practices to it. You wanna make sure you're doing it right. You wanna always create high quality content. You wanna use your real name, your photo, and your site URLs. You wanna promote and share your guest posts once they go live on other websites because the site owner would really appreciate that. You also wanna follow the guidelines and not spam a ton of different sites with emails that say, can I write for your site or blah, blah, because we all get that all the time. You need to actually build a relationship to make most of these things work. And you also want to use tools for research and finding new guest opportunities like I just showed you. Now let's talk about how to explode your mailing list and signups because the money is always in the mailing list. Every blog needs to have a mailing list because over 70% of the people who visit your site for the first time, they're simply never going to come back. And it doesn't even really have anything to do with your content. It's that there's so many people on the internet, there's so many different websites, and it all comes into so many different distractions. So with a mailing list, you can send out updates all the time on your latest content. You can send out a mailing to everybody that signed up to your mailing list on your latest promotions or specials. And that's actually what John did with this webinar. He sent out a mailing to his mailing list. I'm gonna show you how that works in a second. And then you can also increase return traffic to your site day after day, because people just aren't gonna come back to your site thinking that they need to, they need a notification in place. So this webinar, you wanna get people on your mailing list or sign up for a webinar in a method like this. You all came to this form, filled out your information, and then you got onto my mailing list. The next thing was you got a mailing from me today, just like this before the webinar. It said, join me live now. And this was just a simple reminder that the webinar was starting and I would really like for you to attend. And this was actually set up by going into the Aweber system scheduling out a couple mailings you got one 15 minutes before the webinar started and then you got one right when the webinar started and this is just a great way to show you how effective mailing lists are because if you all signed up for the webinar but i didn't have a way to connect with you there'd probably be half as many people there because they just wouldn't remember so now let's talk about how to not get subscribers to your site you see that big yellow form right there that's a very boring looking form it almost has no value to it at all 
It says this newsletter is free and pretty and we promise not to spam you. I don't know about you, but that's not something I'm interested in signing up for. So instead, you would want to give something away for free. That could be like a free ebook or a resources report. You want to get in the face of your visitors. You want to create an autoresponder series to follow up with everybody as well. So here's a good example of a sign up form within your actual site content. You have the content on the left side and then you have your offer on the right side. So everybody's going to see that form and if they want to get that free six figure blogging cheat sheet, all they have to do is fill out that information. Much more effective than that yellow form that we previously saw. And you can even see this in action on John Chow's blog. He has that little button that says send me the free ebook. When you click that it's going to pop up in a new window and then you're going to get it and that's a great way he's getting people onto his mailing list. Another way is to actually build a form within your content and this is something that Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income does. When you get to the bottom of his article it says if you like what you've read join my mailing list. You click get started and then it's going to pop up where you can actually fill in your name and email address. But one of the most effective ways to get people on your mailing list is through a pop-up window. And this is the one that John Chow usually uses, the ultimate online profit model. He's created this great book. He's giving it away to his audience for free. And before browsing the site, the person has to either put in their email and name or they have to click that X. And it converts usually pretty well. I'm going to show you some different examples from various sites. So John Lee Dumas of Entrepreneur on Fire, he uses a similar one to give away his top 12 internet resources. WP Beginner. They're a big WordPress resource site and if you want to learn WordPress and get free videos and whatnot, you can enter your email address for his bonuses. And then Neil Patel of Quick Sprout, he has a little bit different one. He says a yes or no question first and then depending on what you click on, it'll show a form or not. And then Matthew Woodward, he has another one. It's not the most attractive one, but it definitely does get your attention. And most people coming to his site will need more traffic, higher rankings and more money. So why wouldn't they fill it out? And then we have Lewis House and he takes a different approach. His is more about branding and using high authority names like Time, Sports Illustrator and whatnot. And he's not really giving away a guide or anything. He's just saying get the best stuff that I publish each week right in your email address. So all of that is a great way to get people on your list. But you also want to be able to automate it as well. And that's usually done with an autoresponder. So first you have your blog, you have your mailing list, and then you have the automation factor. And here's how this process works. So you have your website and there's people coming to it. You want them to put in their information so they can get their free gift. That information is then sent over to Aweber or your mailing list host. And then Aweber sends out an email to the person who just signed up saying, we got your request, click here to confirm your email address. Once they do that, it'll then send them to the confirmation page where they can get their guide. But at the same time, their data is then going into Aweber and if you set up a autoresponder series or want to send out mailings in the future, you can actually have it set up so one day after they sign up for your list, you can then send them an email and said, how's the free book that you downloaded? Do you like it? And then a few days later you can say, hey, I noticed you wanted to start a blog. Is there anything I can help you with? And just go through the process and provide them with a lot of information. And the cool thing is you only need to set this up once. And every time someone signs up to your list, they're going to get that same autoresponder series. And this is the same exact funnel process that John Chow uses to make millions of dollars online. So let's recap. You want to give something away in exchange for an email sign up. Otherwise, no one's ever going to join your list. You want to add multiple methods for people to join your list, such as within your content on the sidebar and also the pop up windows. And then you need an autoresponder series to automate the process. So you're not trying to send out mailings to every single person that sign up every day. And I know I'm going through a lot of information, but be sure to leave any questions in the questions box or just write them down and save them till the end and we're going to be covering all that. So now let's talk about the best monetization methods for your blog because you want to be able to make money with your content and your audience. There's lots of different ways to make money with a blog and once you have an audience, you can start testing them to see what works best. And three different monetization methods we're going to be talking about is Google AdSense and direct ad sales, creating your own service or product, and also affiliate marketing. So Google AdSense is one of the most popular. It's also one of the easiest ways. All you need to do is join the Google AdSense affiliate program 
grab their ad, place it on your site, and they're actually going to serve advertising based on the content that's already on your site. And you would then earn a commission every time somebody clicks on those banners or the text links that Google places on your site. Another option is to do direct ad sales on your site. So right here we have AdsBridge banner on ZachJohnson.com. Let's say they pay a flat rate every month just to be there. Doesn't matter how many people click it, how many people see it, they're just, being, they're just paying a certain amount of money to be there. And of course, the more traffic you have or the more targeted, the more you can charge. Then you can also create your own product or service. So right here we have Jacob Hiller, and he's actually the creator of the Jump Manual, which is one of the jump training programs I've been talking about. And he's generating over $75,000 in monthly sales just because he created the product. He built an affiliate program out there. He's an expert. He ranks at the top of search results for a ton of relevant jump training program related keywords, and he's doing extremely well, and he's become an expert in this space. And then you also have affiliate marketing, which basically gives you access to millions of products, brands, and opportunities for you to cash in on. And of all these different methods I've mentioned, affiliate marketing is definitely my favorite. It's how I got started, and nearly 20 years later, I'm still using it today. And I really like it because there's no sales experience required. You don't need to hold any inventory. There's no customer support. You don't need to deal with any payment processing and you get to partner with some of the biggest brands and popular sites in the world today. And the cool thing is there's networks called affiliate networks and they will actually host a bunch of different affiliate programs on their one platform. So you don't need to join a bunch of different individual sites to promote their products. So Linkshare, Share a Sale, Commission Junction, ClickBank, they're all very popular ones. And as I mentioned, one ad network can give you access to thousands of different brands. So let's say you have a fashion or a clothing blog and you join the share a network. You can then start promoting Reebok, Adidas, Zulily, Lulu's and Trunk Club all within one network. And then at the end of the month, share a will actually send you a check for all the individual commissions you've earned from all their different site partners. ClickBank, they're another great example, and they focus on digital based products. So anything that's a download, an online course or an ebook. And these ones are really great to promote because you're going to earn up to 75% commission. So if something's a hundred bucks and you refer a sale to that, you're going to make $75 just from redirecting someone to their website. A good example of this would be if you had a jump training site that showed different ways to increase your vertical jump, then you joined ClickBank and decided to promote their 50 inch vertical jump training program. Every time someone visit your site, clicked on that link and bought that product, you'd earn a commission. So now we already looked through how to actually find sites we can guest blog on and look at different topics. Now let's look at how to find different affiliate programs. One of the easiest and most direct ways is to go to Google, just type in your relevant keyword and then the word affiliate programs and you're going to see a whole bunch of different things. There's an affiliate program for pretty much any different topic product service out there. And if you have a specific individual site or product that you want to promote, you can go directly to their website and see if they have an affiliate program by simply looking around. It's usually in the bottom section of the site and even Toys R Us has a link for it. You can see it right there with the arrow. It says affiliate program. Just click on that and you can join their affiliate program and start promoting it. And Amazon, they have one of the best affiliate programs in the world. They don't pay out a lot of money, but imagine how many people are spending money on Amazon every single day doesn't matter if they're a first time visitor or a repeat visitor, you'll get a commission every time you send someone to their website. And it also doesn't matter if they clicked on a product link for a book on your website and if they end up ordering a refrigerator or something, you'll still get commission on that whole order. So now we have the best blog monetization methods and the tips that you can take away with it. You want to create content that brings in new traffic on a daily basis, provides value to them and converts them into leads and sales. And that's pretty much finding a problem that people have, giving them a solution and then letting them order or buy or whatever it is on the call to action. You also want to find high quality products and affiliate programs to promote through your blog. So you can probably find affiliate programs for anything possible, such as software and downloads and whatnot. But if you're associating yourself with brands like Nike and Adidas, you're going to be able to convert people higher on the sale because they're established names. And then you can also use top affiliate networks like share a sale, commission junction and ClickBank to find great offers. 
So now let me show you how I've been able to make millions of dollars using the same method and it doesn't matter if it was done five years ago, 10 years ago, or last week. It's a proven method that happens time and time again with success. And there's different ways to make money with affiliate marketing. You can create ad campaigns. Pay-per-click marketing helps you in the search results. You can do social media marketing, mailing list, autoresponders. That's going to help you build up that following over time. And you also want to focus on website and content creation because that's the type of stuff that can make you money long term. Of all these different methods mentioned, my, my favorite has always been content creation. And even back in the 90s to now, 2015, I still focus on content. So who remembers MySpace? It was actually one of the first social networks on the internet. And it was before Facebook came out and really blew things up, but everybody wanted to be on MySpace. So I was on MySpace as well. And I was thinking, okay, how can I possibly make money with this? Well, I knew everybody was on MySpace. I knew everybody wanted to make a cool MySpace profile page. And I also wanted to create a resource that I could give people a way to do this easily. And I knew that if I was able to build this audience, create something and really put it out there that I could figure out how to monetize it later on. So putting all that together, I knew if I could get thousands of people coming to my site daily, I could then figure out a way to monetize it later on. So in short, I put everything I learned over the years about content creation, viral marketing, and affiliate marketing all together to create the ultimate content site. And here's how it actually worked. So people would come to my website and they would want to add an image to their page, their MySpace profile page, instead of having to grab an image, upload it to the internet, figure out how to write the HTML code and then place it onto their MySpace page. I basically just made it so they could click on an image, copy the code and then put it on their page. So they went from that top image of Tom's profile page to that one on the bottom right and you can pretty much customize it any way you like. So the end result was over 300 million page views to the site and the best day was over 180,000 unique visitors just in one single day and what's even crazier is that it was all 100% free traffic. And I actually had so many people flowing through the site that I needed 16 dedicated Dell servers because I was pushing terabytes of data every single day. Now remember, I wasn't just hosting data on my own site. I was actually hosting everything that they were putting on MySpace as well. So billions of impressions and images are being served every single day. And here's an example of that site that I had running. It was called MySpaceNow.com. Had CPM banner ads running. So every time that banner ad was shown, I was getting paid for that. And you can imagine how much it would generate with over 300 million people coming to the site. There's also affiliate offers in there. As you can see, if anybody clicked on that, a smileys or a cursor and a download software, I would then get paid for that. And there was also Google AdSense in there. So I was spending a lot of money on servers, but I was actually making more through the use of people coming to the site. And you can see with Google AdSense, I had over 146 million impressions being served. I sent them nearly 1.3 million clicks and that generated over $83,000 in earnings. And those CPM banner ads that I showed you, every time they were getting shown, I was earning maybe a, a penny or half a penny or whatnot, but it added up a lot with so many people coming to the site. So what I wanted to show you here was, look at the numbers in June and July. Went from $200 to $400 to $800, and those are great numbers to earn within a month's time, but you really can't retire or quit your job or whatever off of that, but look how things would scale over time. They kept doubling as the site grew in traffic, and this is over the course of a year how it goes from $200 a month to nearly $30,000 a month just for those banner ads. And Cassell Media, that was another banner ad network, so I was actually serving both of these networks at the same time. Again, you can see it earned $280 in one month, then $624, and over $7,000 a month from those banners. But things really exploded when I switched over to the Yahoo Publisher Network, and it's just like Google AdSense, but it's actually called Media.net now. And you can see the earnings were $148,000, $245,000, $306,000 and $306,000 for just one month each. And there's the check that I received from Yahoo for $306,000. The funny thing is about it, most companies don't send out checks anymore and they usually do direct transfer of money to the bank accounts or through PayPal. But this check just came through regular mail and it was pretty funny. Then it was also the affiliate marketing aspect of it. 
And that was done through Never Blue Ads again and other affiliate networks. And that resulted in over another $68,000 in revenue just by monetizing all these different areas. So one site, one year equals a million dollars. And that's because I had the audience. I knew about affiliate marketing and I was also providing value. So it equaled a million dollars in profit just for that one site over the course of a year. And the great thing is this method is replicable. There's viral content based blogs that are making millions of dollars. Like Viral Nova, people are coming to that site like crazy, clicking on ads, and you don't even need a lot of people to click your ads when you're serving so much traffic. So this site actually did so well that the guy who created it went on to sell it for a hundred million dollars. And this guy created it all by himself. ViralNova.com, this kid, Scott created it, and now it was acquired for a hundred million dollars. So the key takeaways, you can make a ton of money online and affiliate marketing is one of the best ways to do it. You can build a site that provides value, figure out how to monetize it, and you don't even need to sell anything. And blogging and WordPress would have made this process a million times easier for me because this site was actually created with pure HTML. It was over 10,000 pages of HTML with no programming. So if I wanted to change one thing, I'd actually have to change all those 10,000 pages. So WordPress would make it dead simple to create the same type of concept today. So now let me show you some other examples of six to seven figure bloggers in the world today. First, we have Jeremy Shoemaker of shoemoney.com. He's currently doing $100,000 a month and he's doing that through banner advertising on his site. He has over 100,000 followers on social media. He has blog posts, he does paid reviews. He gets leads for his internal businesses. He wrote a book. He gets paid for speaking gigs. He does a lot of affiliate marketing as well. He also has his own conference called Elite Retreat and he charges $5,000 per attendee. And he most recently lost his own affiliate network. And his story at shoemoney.com is basically him finding success online and sharing his story with others and just what he does today. We also have Timothy Sykes and he's earning over $150,000 a month from his blog. And what he does is he buys and sells stocks and he was able to turn his $1,500 investment into millions of dollars and now he's showing other people how to do the same. And that all started with his blog where he uses it to get social media traffic back to his site. He has a massive following where he gets to send out tweets, they all come back. He gets a lot of media promotion, he's always on Fox News and CNBC. He has a lot of products that he can sell, DVDs and online courses. But his big money maker is through his monthly and annual stock trading memberships so people can get alerts whenever he buys or sells a stock. Another big site is hcgdietinfo.com and this one makes over 100,000 a month basically through the same methods I did with MySpace now and this site is one of the authorities for anything relating to HCG diet and they make money off banner advertising, mostly Google AdSense but now Jenny Hot, the creator of it, she now does personal branding and she's launching her own courses as well. Another guy, Lou Mangiello, he created wdwradio.com Long story short, he was an attorney in New Jersey, but really had a passion for Disney, loved everything about it. He had a show, it kind of gained attention. Then he said, okay, we're all moving down to Florida. And now he just covers everything Disney nonstop. He's one of the most successful travel podcasts in the world. He has sponsors, he gets speaking gigs. Now he does personal coaching and raises money for charities. And the funny thing is he does all this stuff with Disney, but he doesn't even have any direct relationship to him. So he basically went after a huge niche audience and claimed it as his own. And last but not least, we also have John Chow. JohnChow.com, of course, makes over $100,000 a month. You all know the blog, you know his story, he makes money off banner advertising, has over 100,000 social media followers, he writes blog posts on a daily basis. He has his own book, he gets paid for speaking gigs, he does affiliate marketing. He has a lot of residual income coming in month after month from referrals. And of course, he also has his 100,000 person mailing list and sales funnel in place. So why are top bloggers successful? Well, they've created a voice for themselves, built out their own following and provided value to their audience. Every successful blogger has put in countless and unmentioned hours of work to get to where they are today. Six figure bloggers know how to scale their business with mailing lists and automation, and they can actually make the connections to take them to that next level. Thank you so much for watching this latest video. 
I know I cover a lot of topics and resources for you to work with, so I actually created a blogging resources page for you to go to and see everything in one simple area. You can access that page by going to blogging.org and clicking on the resources button, or you can simply go to blogging.org slash resources. From here, you're gonna see all of my recommended tools, solutions, basically everything I use to grow my website, blog, and business to what it is today. You're also gonna see my latest courses on there as well, so be sure to check it out at blogging.org resources, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.